A planned AR-15 training class sparked this demonstration in the North Hills today. Protesters gathered outside Midwest Shooting Center in McCandless. The class was touted as a way for beginners to learn about the semi-automatic rifle. But as Chris Hoffman reports, some say these guns are not wanted on the streets. The protesters that were gathered here in the North Hills say, especially after recent events in Uvalde, Texas, Buffalo, New York, there is no place for assault rifles in the hands of civilians. Hey, hey, ho, ho, AR-15's got to go. These are weapons designed for the battlefield. They do not belong in communities. They are the weapon of choice for mass shootings, for attacks on police officers. For about an hour, protesters chanted and rallied against the AR-15 class. Groups like Ceasefire PA say they are for people having a mandatory training on guns, but this particular one should not be in people's hands. People are, are sick and tired of being afraid of sending their kids to school, of being afraid of going to the grocery store, to the shopping mall. The Midwest Shooting Center advertised a training class scheduled for this weekend. The flyer reads, quote, so you just bought your first AR-15, now what? And promised to have an NRA certified instructor teach the basics of the gun. It was totally insensitive on their part. But gun groups like Firearm Owners Against Crime say the sentiments against the gun is misplaced. They say the semi-automatic rifle is popular for sport and calling it an assault rifle can be misleading. It's psychology. And they play the game to make sure that the standard citizen who maybe hasn't had experience with them is automatically tainted against them. They argue the guns don't cause these tragic mass shootings. The organization feels it's the people behind these crimes who are the problem. And when there's a mass murderer out there intent on doing damage, they'll use anything from fertilizer down to a pressure cooker to a firearm to a vehicle. Now the class this weekend is off, but the shooting center's website says another class is scheduled for July. After all of that, I don't know why anybody would want to still hold seminars teaching people how to use it. We see what it's used for in this country, and it's definitely not anything good. We did reach out to the shooting center for their side of the story. They replied with no comment on this protest. In McCandless, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.